guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we are in for a lot of beautiful, amazing fashion. Fashion I've been waiting for all year. It is here with the Cannes Film Festival. This is gonna be part one because there are a lot of looks, a lot of dresses, and it's too much to fit in one video. Cannes Film Festival is still going on right now, so. Maybe I should have done three parts, but we're gonna do two parts and this is part one. And since there are so many looks, I'm not gonna spend too much time on each look. So we're gonna do it in a tier list fashion where I put each look into a tier list. And that is how we determine who's the best dressed and who's the worst dressed. It's gonna be a little bit of rapid fire. So bear with me. <laughs> also, I am freshly vaxxed. So hopefully I get through this video before I crash and turn into a puddle of yuck. <laughs> or maybe I won't have any symptoms at all. We'll see, I'm gonna stay super hydrated. As she drinks coffee, the opposite of hydrated. All right, well, let's just jump right into it with the first celebrity. And she is Abigail Breslin and she's wearing Dolce and Gabbana. What a horrible way to start this video, but hey. Dolce & Gabbana needs to be canceled forever. Anyways, it's a green off the shoulder gown. It's, she looks very nice, but it is Dolce & Gabbana. So it's gonna lose some points there. Where do we wanna put it? Where? D. It's not that interesting, it's a little boring. Okay, next up we have Adam Driver, my one. 100% top tier celebrity crush. I love Adam Driver so much. I fell in love with him when I first watched Girls and then he was Kylo Ren and I was like, oh my goodness. I love Adam Driver. He's wearing Burberry. It's a very boring tuxedo. So I'm very sorry, Adam Driver. But we're, uh, he looks sharp, but I'm biased because I have a huge crush on him. So C, D. C, D, E, no effort whatsoever. No, we'll put him in in D. No, you know what, I can't. I can't put him there with Dolce Gabbana, so. <laughs> All right, next up we have Adele de Fontenay and she's wearing Christophe Guillarme. Just warning you now, there are like five billion people wearing Christophe Guillarme at Cannes this year. I don't know, he like paid them off so that he could be all over the red carpet, but what can you do? This is a cool puff sleeve jacket type dress. I like the colors. She looks good, but it's not blowing me away. So I think this one is worthy of a B. Yeah, yeah. All right, next up we have Agatha Maximova and she is wearing Christophe Guillarme. This is a baby blue flowy dress with some nice appliques on the front. It's nice, it's pretty. We like, not revolutionary, but pretty. We're gonna put it in B. Next up we have Agatha Maximova on another day. I don't know who she's wearing here. I like her blue dress better than this one. This one looks like a curtain from like an old Victorian house. We're not here for it. I don't like the color. D. Next up we have Agathe de Fontenay. So it must be Adele's sister. Wearing, you guessed it, Christophe Guillarme. Are we surprised? But I like this one better. It's a sweetheart neck with these drop off the shoulder sleeves. I love the way that the fabric is cut on the neckline to show the contrast between the two fabrics. I just think it's very lovely and she looks beautiful. So let's put her in A. Definitely not S tier though. Next up we have Andy McDowell wearing Prada. Who here has seen Multiplicity? That's where I know Andy McDowell from and I love that movie. So this Prada dress is very nice. She looks beautiful. You know what, I like this dress. I think it's pretty. I'm gonna give it an A, a 
there with Agathe de Fontenay. Next up, we have Andy McDowell on another day wearing Versace. This one definitely I do not like as much as the Prada. It's just an odd shape. Um, it's not doing anything for her body shape. It just looks sad. So sorry, Versace. Also, it doesn't look Versace. Yeah, D. D, D, D. Next up, we have Angel, and she is wearing Chanel Couture. This is a boring spaghetti strap dress. Yeah, it's pretty boring. Nothing special. Doesn't do anything for me either way. Pretty middle of the road. Um, let's put it at C. Next up, we have Anya Rubik wearing Saint Laurent. This is very elegant. She looks stunning. I love the necklace. I like this. I like how it's simple yet very sexy. So let's put it in B. No, A. Yeah, A. All right, next up we have Anya Rubik again on another day and she's wearing Saint Laurent again. I do not like this one as much. I don't like this really at all. The feathers on the top are okay. The fabric of the skirt just looks like a cheap satin. And then there's more feathers just like plopped on the bottom. And they look very out of place, very messy. Not here for this look. Anya, D, E, E. Yeah, I really don't like it. I don't like it. Okay, next up we have Audrey Bouillette Tiger. I don't know who she is. Wearing Christophe Gallarme again. This is just a boring sort of flamenco red dress. Nothing to go talk to anybody about, in my opinion. So, I don't know if it's like going towards ugly though yet. So we'll just put it at D. Next up we have Baptiste Jabaconi. Jabaconi. And he's looking very sharp in a black on black on black tuxedo with some white piping. It's got a little bit of interest to it. So it is elevated a little more than Adam Driver's outfit. However, it's boring still, sorry. So we'll just put it at B. Next up we have Bella Hadid wearing Jean-Paul Gaultier. And this gown is absolutely stunning. I love this so much. It's a form-fitting white gown with some tulle covering the décolletage area in a crisscross sort of halter and it is so beautiful. It looks so luxurious and rich. She is stunning. Her hair and makeup is so freaking outstanding. And then the long train in the back, I just love it. It's so freaking beautiful. This will be our first S tier. Yeah, baby. S tier, Bella Hadid. Next up, we have Blanca Blanco wearing Christoph Guillarme. Surprise, surprise. Again, this is a pretty boring dress. It's elegant. It's a very light sort of lilac purple with some silver vine appliques. It's very sparkly. It's elegant. She looks beautiful, but it's not anything special in my opinion. So I think it is worthy of a B or a C? A C. So next up is Blanca Blanco wearing Christophe Guillarme again. This dress I really don't like. Don't like the colors. Don't like the cut. Don't like the tool layers. We're gonna give it a D. Yeah. Next up we have Blanca Blanco again wearing, you guessed it, Christophe Guillarme. This one's even worse than the last one. It's a horrible tacky yellow color. The material looks cheap. Don't like the layer tool again. This one's even worse, so we'll put it at E. E. <laughs> e. Next up, we have Camellia Giordana wearing Valentino. Is it just me or is every Valentino look lately like hot pink? Is that a thing? Yeah, this is really boring. Really 
ugly. I don't like the neckline. I don't like the material. Nope, nope, nope. Is this our first F tier? Ooh, could be. It's not F tier, it's E. Next up, we have Camellia Giordana again wearing Ami Paris. This is just as boring as her other dress. Material, fabric, again, very cheap looking. I don't like the crinkling and the wrinkling. And yeah, it's just really boring. Not much to say about that. This one, honestly, it's F, F tier. It's just a really boring, ugly dress. Next up, we have Candice Swanepoel. Swanepoel. She's stunning. She's gorgeous. And she's wearing an etro jumpsuit. This is very interesting. I'm getting 70s glam vibes off of this. I'm not much of a jumpsuit person. I don't know if that's true, but it's nice. It's not my favorite. We're going to give it a B. Next, we have Candice Wanapool again on another day wearing Etro again. Etro was her designer for cams, I'm assuming. This is a elegant halter white satin gown. It's nice. It's classic. I really, really like the neckline. I don't know if that's built into the dress or if it's a necklace. I think it's a necklace, but it looks like it's built into the dress and I think that's really cool. This is better than her jumpsuit look in my opinion. And I think it's worthy of an A. There we go. Next up we have Carla Bruni wearing Celine. It's very elegant, very pretty, very chic, but again, nothing crazy out of the box. So it's definitely not S tier. Is it A? Yes, it's A. It's an A, no, it's B. <laughs> Get it together, Ace. Next up, we have Carla Bruni again. This time she's wearing Saint Laurent <sighs> with a very small boobage area. It's got pockets, I don't know. That was a good call, but I don't know. It's a very boring dress. I don't really like it. We will put it in E or D. E. E. All right. Next up, we have Catrinelle Marlon wearing Rami Al Ali Couture. This is a very beautiful princess dress. I love the colors. I wish the um, sheer fabric at the top matched her skin tone better. I think that would have been nicer, but I do love the gold little spirals and I love the structure of the skirt. It's very beautiful and very elegant. I think we're going to give this a A. Yes. Next up we have Katrina Marlin again, this time wearing Iris Van Herpen. This is a very fun, very flirty mini dress that is made out of feathers. I really like the neckline. I just think it's really fresh and fun. Very cute. We stand. Another A for sure. Oh my God, this is so hard. <laughs> Next up, we have Chiara Faragni wearing Gian Battista Valley. Very, very, very stunning dress. <laughs> absolutely love it and you know at first the greenish yellow color was off-putting to me but I think it's so different from what everyone else was wearing at Cannes and it's such a unique color that I don't see very often and I think with the very detailed silver foil appliques it's very pretty and it works well together. The color grew on me quite a lot over the last couple days and now I'm in love. I also love the makeup and I love the hair. It's very ethereal, very beautiful. This is our next S tier. Congratulations, Chiara. All the way up here with Bella. Next up, we have Deborah Lucumuena wearing an adorable high-low, very flowy 
dress almost looks like a bell. I don't know, I think this is absolutely adorable. I love the cut of the dress. I love how comfortable it looks. I love how chic she looks. Definitely would have chose a different shoe, but we won't get into that. The dress is very cute. I think this is a B, B tier. Next up we have Diane Kruger wearing Armani Privé. This dress is absolutely stunning, gorgeous, beautiful. It is a halter with beautiful sequins, a nice little cutout at the rib cage, and more sequins in the skirt mixed with tulle. It's just very, very sparkly, very fresh, very chic. I like it a lot. Is it causing earthquakes of amazingness? No, so it's not S tier. Anyways, this is going in A tier. Next up, we have Didi Stone Olomide wearing Jean-Paul Gaultier. And this is a very interesting dress. It basically looks like a bathing suit made out of bubble wrap with crazy paper towels hanging off of her. She looks stunning, hair and makeup on point, but I don't know, this dress is weird to me. I'm not the biggest fan. Uh, I think we're gonna give it a C or a D. No, it's definitely better than those ones, so C. Next up we have Didi Stone Olomide again, this time wearing Philosophy. I like this dress a lot more. It's a very shiny baby pink satin material, strapless very flowy pleated skirt. I love the way it fits. I love the necklace. Her skin looks flawless. I love the hair and makeup. Everything, everything is beautiful. It's very simple, yet absolutely stunning. I think this belongs in the S tier. No. Yes, yes, yes it does. Next up we have Deepa Kosla wearing Mila. It is a Ruffle Explosion Baby Blue. It's okay, it's boring. It's very ruffly. Yeah, it's okay. It's not that special. Don't second guess yourself. We're gonna put it in B. Ah, trying to sneak into A. Next we have Deepa Kosla again wearing Tony Ward. This is a very elegant, very regal gown. One shoulder off the shoulder baby pink sort of rose color with silver appliques. It's just a very royal looking dress, nothing special. We're gonna put it in C. Next up we have Elena La Nina. This woman was certainly trying to make a statement at Cannes because every single dress and hair was weird. And she was wearing Nika Shabashova, I think, for all her looks. This one, don't like it, it's weird. This one, the hair is crazy, but it's not like a crazy where I'm like, that's really cool and interesting. It's like a crazy, like you're trying way too hard. I'm very sorry. I don't like the dress either. Ugly, ugly dress. Both of her looks are not gonna be that high. I'm gonna give that one a D and this one F. I hate, I hate that one. I really do. Next up we have Alisa Sednawi. Elisa Sednawi, and she's wearing Alberta Ferretti. I love this dress. It is a strapless, like, mermaid gown made out of mirrors. And it's such a cute aquamarine turquoise color. It just looks so expensive and interesting. It's got these hexagonal mirror tiles all throughout that are just shimmering in the light. I love the color. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. All the way up to S tier to join the rest. Next up we have Elodie Frege wearing Dessange. This is a very boring dress. Plunge neckline, collar, yeah, boring. Boring, boring. Um, e. Next up, we have Elvira Jane wearing Atelier Zura. This dress is 
very, very cute. She looks like an adorable little princess. And I like the added touch of the stone tiling on the bustier. I think that's really cool. The skirt is just an explosion of tulle, which is not that groundbreaking, but it's pretty. So we're going to give her an A for sure. An A for sure. Very nice, very nice. Next up we have Esther Exposito and she's wearing Etro. I really don't like this. The color mixed with the cut of the dress just makes it look really cheap and tacky. I'm very sorry, but I do not like this. F. Okay, not E. Yeah, F tier, sorry. Next up we have Ava Herzegova wearing Alberta Ferretti. It's a pair of pants with a top. The blouse is like basic, the pants are not that interesting. It's really not doing anything for me. So we're gonna put it in E. Cause it's not horrible, but it's just very boring. Next up we have Fatima Almamen wearing Tony Ward. It's a pretty much a wedding gown. The top I don't think fits very well. I don't like these three stripes going down. In general, I don't like this dress. So it's going into D. Yeah, sorry. Next up, we have Fatima Almaman again. This time she's wearing Rami Kadi, and this is much better. there's another dress later on that has the same spindly little leaves that I loved so much about um, Ebony Obsidian's dress and I am here for it. I love it. I love the shape of this dress, how it's wrapped up tightly to the bodice, but then the skirt is this beautiful cup bell shape with all those little pink spindles coming off of it. I think this is absolutely gorgeous. We're going to give it an A tier because there's another dress that has a similar um, style, which I think goes the extra mile. And we will see that in a little bit. Next up, we have Flora Cocarell and she's wearing Drenusha Zara. <laughs> a very beautiful material that I don't think I've seen very often. It's almost sheer, but it's covering all the bits that need to be covered. I love the sort of wrap one sleeve with the off the shoulder on the other side. It's just really beautiful and she looks absolutely stunning. I think this is going in A. Yes. Next up we have Frederic Bell and she's wearing Yanina Couture. This is a very billowy, flowy, baby pink gown. It's pretty, but it's not doing anything crazy for me, but it's definitely beautiful. She looks very elegant. And you know what? I appreciate the design of the dress. I appreciate it. So we're going to give it a B. A B. B, 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 B. Next up, we have Frederic Bell again, wearing a Nina Couture again. This dress is a bad wedding dress, bad prom dress, mistake. That's all we have to say about that. F tier. Next up, we have Frida Hassan wearing Ellie Saab. This dress is stunning. I love the color of the sequins mixed with the very nude skin tone of the dress. It almost looks like she's naked and just covered in sequins painted on her. It's very beautiful. I love the shape. Everything about this, love, love, love. This is S tier. S tier. Next up, we have Haley Lou Richardson wearing Oliana Serjenko. I don't like this. 
Again, it looks like a weird wedding dress. I don't like the flowers and the hair, the combination of the two. I'm not vibing with it, so D. Next up we have Helen Mirren wearing Dolce & Gabbana. Not only is this Dolce & Gabbana so gross, but also ugly. This is just ugly. The shape, the color, like no. Absolutely not Helen Mirren. F, F tier. Next up we have Helen Mirren again. I don't know what she's wearing this time on her second day, but it, oh no, it's Carolina Herrera. I remember, I just forgot to write it down. <laughs> but uh, this is really boring as well. Girl, girl, it's not as bad as that one though, give it an E, but it's just really boring. Next up we have Hofit Golan wearing Christophe Gularme. How many is that now? I don't know. This is just a tool explosion and it's not interesting and it's not special, so D. Next up we have Hofit Golan again, this time wearing Danilo Forestieri. This, I don't like the pattern on this dress. The shape is all right. The neckline is pretty boring. I'll, overall, this is not, I'm not a fan. Sorry, Hofitch, you're just both, you're in D. You're stuck in D. Next up, we have Irene Jacob and she's wearing Chanel. I mean, it's all right. The shape is blah, the material is blah, the buttons are awkward. No. Give it an E. Next up we have Iris Bourbon and she's wearing Nobi Talai. This plus for ensemble, I think means stronger together. I don't know, my French is not that great, but that's what I'm thinking. I don't know if she's pregnant, but she looks pregnant in this dress. It looks like a maternity dress. It's okay. I like how it's very graphical. I like the black sort of gems on top, but I'm not a fan of the shape of the dress. And overall, it's not that great. So we'll put it in C. C, yeah. Next up, we have Iris Bourbon on another day. And this time she's wearing Oscar de la Renta. It's a green garbage, it's a green trash bag. Oh God, I almost knocked over my coffee. It's a green trash bag or like a tarp. That's what it looks like. Mm, no, we don't like E. Oh. Next up we have Isabel Adjani wearing Dior. This is ugly, this is hideous, I hate this. Um, the neckline doesn't even look even or cut straight. It's very wonky. Don't like the materials. No, 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 no. F tier, F tier, F tier, F. Next up we have Isabel Huppert and she's wearing Balenciaga. And this is what I am talking about. I hate when older, more mature women wear hideous dresses, hella mirror in case in point, because they think they can't pull off something sexy and beautiful, but this is absolutely sexy, absolutely beautiful. I love the black on black on black with the black sock boots, and oh, it just fits her body perfectly. Love the sunglasses, we are here for it. This is definitely S tier, S tier, all the way up to S tier. Next up we have Isabel Goulart wearing Metro. This is giving me very 90s vibes with the diamond cut halter top. The pants are very interesting. We got paisley pattern going on and then an explosion of leather, leathers, feathers at the bottom. She's obviously stunning and would look good in anything, but I don't know. I, I'm not really feeling this. So we're going to give it a C. Next up we have Isabella Goulart again wearing Etro and it's just a very boring one shoulder satin white gown. It's not as, doesn't have the same simple elegance that Candace's had. So I'm not really feeling it. It's just gonna get a C because it's the same as her other outfit, unlike a scale of how good it is. Next up we have Jaden Riley and she's wearing Kelly Taz. This is adorable. It's a blue dress with sparkles in the bottom. I mean, it's not revolutionary or anything, but it's it's pretty. Uh, we're just gonna put it in C. Next up we have Gian Damas and she's wearing Dior. This is a very interesting neckline that I don't see too often, so I do like that. It's a very nice material. I can tell it's thick. It's I can tell it's expensive. It looks luxurious. She looks good, but it's not blowing me away. So we're just gonna put it under B. 
Next up, we have Jessica Chastain wearing Dior. And this is a very sort of structured skeletal type dress with some sheer material and these cool black swirly elements layered throughout. I do like it, but it's not wowing me. So we're going to put it in B, B tier. Next up we have Jessica Chastain again, this time in Valentino. It's a very simple blue, blue. It's a very simple emerald green gown. It's pretty, but nothing, nothing to write home about, nothing to write home about. So we'll put it in C. Next up we have Jodie Foster. Love Jodie Foster, love Contact, the movie. Have you seen it? If you haven't, you should. And she's wearing Givenchy. This gown is very pretty, very classic. I love the shape of the dress. I love the little cutouts at the shoulders and I love the geometric little rhinestone-y crystal appliques all throughout the dress. This is very beautiful. 10 out of 10, Jodie Foster. Guess where you're going? Guess where? You are going all the way up to S tier. Next up, we have Jodie Turner-Smith and she's wearing Gucci. I really don't like these colors together. I don't like the shape. And honestly, it looks like her skirt was dipped in urine. I'm just gonna be straight up with you with that. And I don't really like the rib ribbing of the bodice and then the random spiky black rhinestone boobs. We're not here for that. I'm not enjoying it. It's gonna get Uh, e. Next up we have Kat Graham wearing Etro. This is very ugly. I do not like this. Sorry, girl. It's not quite F, so we'll put it in E. Next up we have Katherine Winnick and she's wearing Stella McCartney. I kind of am digging the shape of this. I like how the white contrasts with the black and the black cape looks really cool. I don't know, it's not like amazing or anything though. So we're just going to put it in A. Next up we have Kukla Lapidus wearing Dior. This is, it's all right. I don't know, something's not, something's missing from it and it's not that great. So we're just gonna put it in B. Next up, we have Lara Gautier wearing Christophe Guillaume. This dress is actually very beautiful. I love the chiffon pleating with the lace applique and the very, very small amount of feathers at the top. It's very nice. I like it a lot. Not quite S tier though. So we'll put her in A. Where did I just put her? Guys, where did I just put her? Oh, yeah, I did put her in the wrong spot. Okay, <laughs> there we go. Next up, we have Leila Bechti wearing Givenchy. It's a pantsuit off the shoulder. I mean, it's better than some pantsuits that I've seen, but it's nothing special, so. C, C. Next up, we have Lena Situations wearing Valentino. Uh, this is very ugly, I don't like this. And look, again, Valentino, pink. Is is pink the color of Valentino and I'm just unaware of this? What is with the tiny little boobage area again? I don't understand. I don't like this at all. Sorry, Lena, F tier. Okay, next up we have Leonie Han wearing Nicole and Felicia. <laughs> dress I was talking about earlier where it has the little feather leaf appliques spindling off of it but the cut of the dress the color of the dress it just elevates it to that next level she looks absolutely stunning I love this this is absolutely stunning I love this trend of these like little feathers but this is definitely S tier all the way up all the way up Next up, we have Leonie Han again, this time wearing Tony Ward. This is 
is a very flowy dress. It is pretty, but it is not as amazing as her first dress that she wore. But I can tell I really like this girl's style. But we're going to put it in A. Next up, we have Lydia Corja wearing Danilo Forestieri. This is a very Victorian, very sort of horror movie, Madame of the House sort of dress. It's a rich burgundyish red color with some strong shoulders. I don't know. It's not my style, but I can appreciate the design and cut of the dress. So we're going to put it under B. Yes. Next up we have Li Meng wearing Yanina Couture. This is very pretty. It's a flowy yellow gown with a very cool necklace slash collar combined. It's very nice colors. She looks very elegant. We do like this. Is it an A? Yes, it is an A. Next up we have Lison Di Martino wearing Christophe Gularme again. <laughs> I love how this dress fits. It fits her perfectly. I love the material. I love the shape of the bodice. It's very beautiful. The fit of this dress almost makes it S tier, but it's just, it's just A. Next up, we have Lisan DiMartino again, wearing Christophe Guillermo again. This dress, I really don't like. I don't like the bodice and I don't like the neckline. The sheer material doesn't match well, so it just looks awkward. We're not here for this one. This one's going in E. Next up, we have Lorena Ray and she is wearing Ellie Saab. Ellie Saab, I am noticing, is known for sheer material mixed with something shimmery and beautiful. <laughs> this is a high-low mini dress with feathers. It's pretty, but I'm, I don't like it that much. We're just gonna put it under B. Yeah, yeah. Next up we have Lou Doylan, Lou Doylan, wearing Gucci. I do like the colors. I loved the contrast of the pleated gold skirt with the satin black halter. I like how the little white bralette is underneath. I think that's cool. I think we could have went without the fur shawl, but hey, yeah, I like this. It's nice. We're gonna put it at a solid B. Next up we have Lou Gala wearing Prune Goldschmidt. Um, this is boring. Yep, 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 boring, boring. E. Next up, we have Lou McGrath wearing Zuhair Murad. This is absolutely stunning. Please, please. I love the halter with the cutout at the rib and the cutout at the midriff. It's so beautiful. The pattern of the jewels is so intricate and beautiful. I love the crossover belt. I love how it's layered. Everything about this dress, absolutely stunning. If you guess where it's going, it's going S tier. Yeah. All right, next up we have Mava Kuka, and I don't know who she's wearing. This is a pretty gown. I don't like this belt. This belt looks like it's from Claire's and it was like $3. I love the, the gown with the applique sort of like uh, dispersing less and less throughout the bottom, but I don't like this weird ruffled cape that's happening in the back. This could have been so much better without the belt and without the weird cape. So we're gonna put it at B. Next up we have Mava Kuka again and she's wearing Ziad Nakad. This is another sheer with sparkle elements gown. It's not as impressive as the other ones. It looks a little cheaper, not really vibing with the color that much. So see. Next up we have Maggie Gyllenhaal wearing Celine. This is boring. This is not interesting. It's pleated dress with a pleated gown. Cool. Cool beans. Put it at D. Next up, we have Maggie Gyllenhaal on another day. This time she's wearing Versace and I like this a lot more than her Celine look. I love how it fits. It fits her perfect. I love the neckline. 
I love how the cleats are going in different directions and the way they're cut. It's very, very nice. This is a beautiful dress. Is it S tier or A? It's A. Next up, we have Malia Emma Chandra with Jaja, and she's wearing Mia Bambina Boutique. This is very cute. She's very adorable, but I'm not a huge fan of the dress, but like, what can I say? She's an adorable young lady who's making an effort on the red carpet, which is more than I can say for some of the adults. So we're gonna put her right at a C. Next up, we have Marianne Cotillard or Cotillard. She is one of my absolute favorite actresses. Love, love, love her in The Dark Knight. Love, love, love her in Inception. She's just so good. Chef's kiss. And she's wearing Chanel. This is the best picture I could find, which is annoying. But it's a very interesting sort of silver foil material. One shoulder. It's got a little peplum. It's interesting and unique, but I wouldn't say it's my favorite. So we're just gonna put it at B. And then we have Marianne Cotillard, Cotillard second look, which is also Chanel. Almost looks like denim, which sometimes it works. Most of the time it does not. It's a nice dress. She's very beautiful. She looks nice, but I'm not really feeling the denim long sleeve dress. So we're gonna put that. A C. Next up, we have Masum Minawala, and she's wearing Manish Malhotra World. <sighs> this is just really boring. It's all the same material. It's not fit fitted to the body that well, and it's just kind of all over the place. Not feeling it. E. Next up, we have Melanie Laurent wearing Armani Privé. This is a very unique look. It's a sort of embellished vest with a embellished skirt. I like the colors. I like the choice of materials. Overall, I like this look. It's different. It's not something you see every day. We're gonna give it a B. Next up, we have Melanie Laurent's second look, which is Celine, and I am loving this. This is how you do a pantsuit. Okay, ladies, take note. Love the black on black on black. The length of the pants is perfect. The cut of the pants is perfect. Love the loose blouse underneath, the jacket, the shoes, everything about this is perfecto. Perfection. S tier, thank you. Next up we have Melanie Laurent again wearing Dior. Don't like this. Boring red pleated dress. Nothing special. E. No, D. Next up we have Melanie Thierry or Theory, I don't know. She's wearing Dior. It's a very sort of peasanty vibe with a twisted rope neckline. It's pleated. It's a nice sort of steel grayish blue color. It's nice. It's not blowing me away, but I do like the uniqueness of the rope in the top. So we're gonna give it a B. Next up, we have Melissa George wearing Giorgio Armani. I, I don't, I don't, I don't like those sequiny pants. A halter top with some like beads hanging off of it and like a crop jacket. I don't know, not my thing. I'm not here for it. Mm, D. Next up, we have Melita Toscan. Yeah, Melita Toscan wearing Ellie Saab. Again, we have a sort of sheer blue material with a shimmery sequiny pattern over top. This one, I'm really not liking that much. It's very simple. I feel like I've seen this cut before. We're just gonna give it a D. Next up, we have Michelle Salas and she's wearing Alessandra Rinaldo. This, out of all the wedding dresses at Cannes Film Festival so far, I'd say this is my favorite. I love the shape, how it goes from these butterfly wing sort of sleeves to very fitting to a very flattering train. I do like this a lot, but it's still a wedding dress. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I don't, I'm a white dress at an award show is just a wedding dress to me. So, um, mm, yeah, if this were a different color, I'd probably put it at A, but we're going to put it at B. Next up, we have Mila Lapidus, which is Kukla's sister, I'm assuming. And she's wearing Dior. I like this better than her sister or 
whoever Kupla is to her. I think this is interesting. It's like a cool sort of netting material with a saucy vest over top. She looks very witchy, very cool vibes. Um, A? No, B. B, B, B. Next up we have MJ Rodriguez wearing Etro. This is a very interesting material. Oh, it's lace. Oh, that's cool. It's like a paisley lace uh, pattern over top of a sheer material with a hood. We love a hood. Very fashion forward, but I don't know. It's missing something for me. We'll just put it in B. Yeah. Next up we have Nama Preys and she's wearing Chanel. This is a very cute, chic, pink lace dress. I like the cut of it. I love the straps. I like the color. Love the material. I really like this. We're gonna give it an A. All the way up in A. Next up we have Nama Preece again, this time wearing Valentino. Hey, a Valentino dress that's not pink. I don't know, I feel like I've seen this before. There's nothing new or interesting about it, so. D. Next up, we have Natalie Osmond wearing Alberta Ferretti. This is a similar color to Melanie Thierry's dress. It's like a steel grayish blue. It's an interesting material. I do appreciate that. I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence about it. She looks great though. We'll give it a C. Next up, we have Natalie Osmond again, this time wearing Bellic in a nice lime green. I like the sort of torn cutouts at the hip. This is just a classic elegant dress with a little bit of a unique touch. So we're going to give it a B. Next up we have Midi Suni wearing Maison Rabi K. Ruse. This is just a pretty white dress. Yeah, it's just another wedding dress. Mm, whatever. It's, it's nice, but mm, yeah, yeah, see. Oh look, another wedding dress. <sighs> This one is Noelle Capri Berry wearing Ellie Saab. Hey, it's not a sh sheer dress with shimmery stuff on it, so that's different for Ellie Saab. But it's a wedding dress. I like the shape. I like the cut, so it's better than that one. We'll put it in B. Next up, we have Nomi Merlant wearing Louis Vuitton. Uh, I, this is not my style. It's an oversized blazer, and I hate oversized blazers on men and women. And then the pants are kind of baggy too, so it just overall looks not great. In my opinion, E. Next up we have Nerf Back wearing Dior. I hate this. I really don't like this. The material looks cheap. I feel like there's velvet involved and I don't like velvet. The mesh at the top looks cheap. No, 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 no. F, F, F tier. Next up we have Ola Farahat wearing Alberta Ferretti. <laughs> In a flowy strapless gown, pretty boring, orange, boring, yeah, whatever, uh, E. Next up we have Patricia Gloria Contreras wearing Christophe Goularme. This is, it looks a little ill-fitted. The sleeves are a little short. The material looks very heavy and scratchy, but it, overall she looks put together and pretty, but mm, I don't like it that much. It's a C. Next up we have Patricia Gloria Contreras again, wearing Rami Cotti this time. Very boring strapless gold sequiny dress with a very large slit. I don't like it. Sorry. Boring. E. Next up we have Paz Vega and she's wearing Ellie Saab. And Elisa brings the sheer material with shimmers again, but this is a very different, unique color scheme and unique pattern. I like how the sleeve balloons out a little bit. I, this is a very unique and interesting, interesting dress that I feel like I have not seen too often before. So I put it in A. Next up we have Paz Vega again, wearing Nicholas Gibran this time. This is a very sexy, very elegant gown long sleeve on one side and no sleeve on the other. I love the little slithery cutout down the side. It gives her body a really nice shape. I like the slit. She looks absolutely stunning. So she has two A's in the game. And then we have Paz Vega again wearing Nicholas Gibran again. 
doing a pantsuit. It's not as good as Melanie Laurent's pantsuit, but it is better than others. I wish the pants were a little bit longer and I wish the shoes were different, but it's chic. We're gonna put it in a B. Next up, we have Soko wearing Gucci, and this is a sequin monster threw up on her. We've got big, big sequins, medium sequins, and then we got these black bobbles. It's very quirky. I do like it. I appreciate that it's different. I like the colors. It's not quite hitting it for me, so we're gonna give it a B. Next up, we have Suju Park, and she's wearing Chanel, and this is just a lace gown with an awkward belt. I really don't think this is anything special, so we're just gonna give it a D. Next up, we have Taylor Hill wearing Etro. This is a very gothic gown. She looks like she's straight out of a horror movie where she like lives in a big, big house that's haunted. There's a lot of paisley at Cannes. There's some paisley pattern going on here with the lace, long sleeve, very slinky long dress. I like it, but it's not one of my favorites when in comparison to everything else. So we're just gonna give it a B. Next up we have Tina Kuneki wearing Valentino. This is very different, very unique, very out of the box. The colors, blue and red, are interesting. I like the shape of the hood that like blends in with the billowy arms. I'm giving it a lot of points for creativity and thinking outside the box, but I mean, it's not something I would ever wear. <laughs> so we're going to give it a B. Next up, we have Vanessa Paradis wearing Chanel. This is, no, this is ill-fitted. Weird layering happening. I'm not a fan. We'll put in E. Next up, we have Veronica Herrero wearing Pinko Official. This is a polka dot black gown off the shoulder sleeves with a belt. It's very elegant. She looks beautiful. There's nothing too special about it though. We're just gonna put it in B. Next up, we have Virginie Afira wearing Dior, another pleated dress with a pleated cape. The color is nice though. Looks very rich luxurious. I like the necklace. She looks like a Grecian goddess, but it's nothing that special, if you know what I'm saying. We're gonna put it in B. All right, last but not least for part one of Cannes Film Festival Fashion Review, we have Zita Hanrot wearing Chanel. What a way to end the show, guys, because this is pretty ugly. The, the satin material of the skirt is all wrinkly and weird. I don't like these pocket cutout situation. The pattern of the top is really ugly. Yeah, we're not here for this. Sorry. So we're going to end the show with a F tier. So sorry. All right. So that is the end of part one of Cannes Film Festival Fashion Review. We made it through. We've got our best dressed and our worst dressed. And even though there were more worst dressed than there were best dressed, this whole week of fashion, and there's another week coming, has been very inspiring, very creative, and I'm loving it. That is it for today. I hope you enjoyed looking at all the dresses with me. There's still a whole other week of Cannes Film Festival, so there will be another video coming next week with the rest. Hopefully I don't need to split it into two parts because there's a lot. But anyways, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me a lot. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so below and I will see you next time when I see you. Bye!